everyone. Here is my second journal that I started. It's an envelope journal and I just mosh poshed this pretty paper on the front and sewed the lace on all the way around. And this time I used elastic, this elastic string stuff I got at a yard sale. And it holds in the signatures really nice. And I just left the back. And I used, this is um, ink dyed muslin that I scrunched up and inked. I just like the color so I used it on this and I did the same. I just, only this time I just tucked it under there but I'll probably end up gluing it under there. Uh, and inside there's some tags. In the pocket and this was just some more other paper that I had in my stash and a little paper clip this is a little tag tuck spot and this actually folds open so you can write on here and I just put this on there for just in case this little tag falls out so I just kind of put it like that but it also keeps this shut even though it doesn't really flop open or anything. But I just put it on there anyway, just in case. I don't know if I can get it back on there. Doing things upside down is, uh, I'll just do it later. Okay, and I just used some random paper in my stash for this one. Coffee dyed everything. Oopsie, sorry, not in frame. Flips up, two tags, a little piece of paper, and there's my little music note pocket. I kind of used Yvonne's idea when I used the music note paper, and I put a tag behind there and just put a pop dotted butterfly on there and sewed some lace and some paper on there. And just put these little tags inside. And this is this little tuck spot right here. Another tag, and I backed it with the same paper. And here's another big tag. And the journal on. Put some washi tape on it. Stamped. There's two more little tags. This one flips up too. I just put one of my little paper pod things on there. This says so much fun. And that's a little tuck spot there. And here's a tag. It's another piece of packaging that I thought was cute. It has chevron on it. And I just layered some stuff on the front, clipped it on there, and then a tag, and I used a couple of my McCall's um, old pattern things for pockets, and this is some, just some paper, and extra paper, and I did some stamping. And that is just a sticker I thought was cute. And this just folds out for extra journaling. And this was like a big white envelope, like the vanilla manila envelope ones that we use, only it's white and I just cut it in four and I just decorated the front and then I just left this open and glued the back so I can tuck that. So I actually got four of these out of one envelope. I thought that was a pretty cute idea. And then there's a couple more tags. Another pop dotted butterfly and I sewed some lace on. Some stamping. Tag. This folds down. There's another one that you... Oh, this one is a bag. This one's a little brown bag right here that I just used as a spot and 
tuck in it, you can tuck behind it, and right here. If I can get this in there, there we go. So you got three different spots you can tuck in there. And this is just a little tuck spot on the other side of the McCall's bag. And I'll just put some, I think these are some Tsunami Rose, these little papers, images. Tuck those in there. Here's another one. I just copy dyed them. And this is a just a tag I made out of some vanilla folders. And then here is just another little train ticket. And this I did. This was part of the envelope, the bottom part, one half of the bottom part. So I just glued it this part back together and made a little pocket out of it so they could put stuff in that as well. So that's one of those. This folds out. The other side of the McCall's bag. And here is my doily punches that I showed y'all on my tutorial. Only I put two on here and made it a double tuck so you can either put a big old tag in there and then two little ones down here. But I just put a couple different ones in here just to show how they could go. But a bunch of stuff you can put in that one. I like the way I put, you know, this looks on Two, two different ones. Um, this folds out. Another tuck spot. This is just a little envelope that I sewed around. I just sewed around the edge to give it some texture and that you can tuck some stuff in. This folds out. Another little tag. Always have faith, and this is a little envelope. I tucked a little tag in. I just glued the envelope down. Found those in my stash while I was cleaning up, so I just used one of those. And then here is the other side. I just put some leftover paper in there and a little tag. These are some really old pattern ones. They're like, I think this one was 65 cents and the other one was 45 cents. So you know those are old. And that's another little sticker. Cut spot. Like a, Another one of those printouts. This is one of the big tags on that kit, and then I just put two little tags inside. And this was this is from the same kit, and they're just two big tags. Another music note pocket. I just put a tag in there. Oh, I forgot to put my flower on there. Oh my goodness. Oh well. I'll do it later. Another tag back here. Another big tag. And this was another piece of that envelope. And I just put a tag back there. It opens up for more journaling. And that is that little journal I did.
I'm like this is just one signature and one chunky little signature but I just wanted to share that with y'all thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye